All new at 11, Christopher Freeman is facing criminal charges after being accused of bringing a gun into a school. Bear Lakes Middle School was placed on lockdown yesterday afternoon. According to a call that was sent out from the school's principal, the parent became hostile while in the front office. That's when school police were called in. They say the parent had a handgun but never showed the weapon or threatened office staff with it. The call also stated that once the parent was removed, campus returned to an all clear for a regular dismissal. On Monday, 27-year-old Christopher Freeman was arrested for bringing a loaded gun to Bear Lakes Middle School in West Palm Beach, Florida, after his son called him crying over a teacher's alleged abuse. According to a police report, a school resource officer contacted police after claiming to have seen a large handgun sticking out of Freeman's pants. The school was immediately placed on lockdown. Freeman, who came to the school in a wheelchair, threatened staff that if he wasn't able to speak to his son, they would all be dead. Freeman was visibly upset and was yelling and screaming, you're going to need more than what you've got because of what I got, according to the arrest affidavit. He also said, I want to see the guy who slammed my son. I've got something for him. Later, Freeman explained to police that he was upset because his son told him he was crying because a teacher slammed him. While Freeman was speaking with him, his son was grabbed by an adult and his phone went flying out of his hands. Someone then hung up the phone, Freeman said, according to the police report. Freeman said he was very upset and came to the, up to the school. Police said Freeman was armed with an AK-47 mini Draco pistol and a 30 round extended. The weapon was loaded with one magazine in his chamber. Freeman said he bought the gun from a friend and didn't realize he had it on him when he entered the school. And he also said he didn't know the school's policy for guns. Freeman is currently being held on a $75,000 bond, which police have motioned to have revoked because of a separate criminal case against him. Freeman is set to appear in court on April 4th and will reportedly plead not guilty for any crime. So what do you guys think? <clears throat> do you think that this is a protective dad? Do you think he did the right thing? Um, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I used to be a teacher. Okay. That just, um, disclaimer and kids say a lot of things. Okay. And they exaggerate things. Now, am I saying that this teacher didn't slam this kid? It's possible that the teacher absolutely, absolutely did do it. And it's also possible that this was exaggerated. Nonetheless, as a parent, I still want to get down to the bottom of it. And I too probably would come up to that school as well. But the way he did this is all wrong. In my opinion, I'm sorry. You cannot come up to the school in this day and age with a loaded AK 47. In Florida, to be exact, you know how many school shootings have been out here and you a black man coming up to a school with a loaded weapon talking about you didn't know the school's policy on guns. I, I don't know how you don't know that you in Florida, they had one of the biggest school shootings down there. How do you not know that bringing a school, I mean, bringing a gun on school grounds is subject to probably get you killed, especially if you black. Now, if you white, you might actually walk, but if you black, you was really playing with fire here, you know, over the fact that, that, you know, your son said that he was slammed by a teacher. Now in the old days, there probably would have been a fight, you know, you know, you hit my kid. I'm coming up there to see about it and everything, but this generation is just so different. They just are so different. I'm sorry. I just don't see why this wasn't handled differently. I would have came up there. I would have saw what was going on. And if in fact this happened to my child, yes, of course I would want this teacher dismissed, but I would sue the hell out of this school, the school district. I would be getting paid. We would be getting paid. My son would be getting paid, but coming up there with a loaded weapon. And I see all these online comments talking about, you know, he did the right thing. Let's bail him out you know, free that man. I don't see the problem. How do you not see the problem with this? I guess it's not a problem until you get a phone call or you get a text message or you get, you know, uh, some kind of alert on your phone saying that your child's school is being locked down because someone has a loaded weapon on campus. I guess it's okay until it's you and it's your kid in that position. I just don't think the dad did the right thing. Sometimes we just so reactionary that we don't think. And now this man is behind bars and he can't protect his son anyway. You know, I'm going to try not to think about the fact that this man was in a wheelchair. He was coming up there about, about to just set it off. Okay. Like Queen Latifah, he was about to set it off. I'm just still trying to picture that in my mind. I'm also trying to picture about the fact that this is a 27 year old with a middle schooler, but I'm not here to judge. I'm not going to try to judge. I'm just trying to like put that two and two together, like 27 year old middle schooler. I'm, I, 
I, I don't know how, but I guess it's possible, right? So anyway, I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that this guy did the right thing? He's just being a protective father. You know, he's just doing what any parent would do if they were in that situation. Or do you think he just overreacted and there was another way he could have gone about it? Like I said, I think that he could have gone about this a different way. If the man, in fact, put his hands on his son, he should have just got paid in the, in the end. And now he about to sit up here. He in jail now. And he can't protect his son at all anyway. So... Anyway, let me know what you guys think because I saw this story and I just found it interesting with the comments. People really, really think this is the right thing to do. 